Hello everyone and welcome to my 10th video in the series. Top 10 facts about Hikaru Nakamura, the bullet the demon. Number 1. Hikaru Nakamura is an American chess grandmaster who was born on December 9, 1987 in Hirakata, Japan to a Japanese father and an American mother. At the age of 2 he moved with his mother and older brother to the United States. <laughs> He began playing at the age of seven and was coached so by Sri Lankan stepfather. <laughs> These pictures are terrible. Renowned chess author and teacher Sunil Viramantri. Number two, Hikaru's January 2011 triumph in winning the prestigious Tata Steel Invitational in Vikanze, the Netherlands, ahead of the four highest ranked players in the world, was held by none other than the legendary Gary Kasparov as the best result by an American since eight. Well, I mean, I mean, obviously Gary would say that considering that Gary was helping me for that tournament. So of course Gary, Gary would highlight what a huge, huge result it was. Five. Number 3. Hikaru is widely regarded as America's <laughs> best hope of regaining the title of world champion once held by the great Bobby Fischer. Since earning his Grandmaster title at a younger age than Fischer, Grandmaster Hikaru's innovative and uncompromising style has delighted numerous fans around the world. Number 4. Hikaru is Oh, also just I'll stop for a second, just to also highlight a point, you guys. Um, so people have asked me if I could wear um if I could wear like TSM shirts and these these sorts of things, um, you can see here in this picture, which I think was taken in um, Azerbaijan, you can see I was wearing sort of a jersey style shirt anyway with a bunch of bunch of logos on it. So that that I think answers a question about um, what you can wear. Why do I have a soccer shirt on? Um, because for a period of time I was sponsored by Red Bull, and um, they they gave me one of these jerseys with 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 uh, with my number on the back. So anyway, let's keep going. First fans around the world. Number 4. Hikaru is universally recognized as one of the world's best blitz players and arguably the very best at bullet chess. They don't call him the bullet demon for nothing. He defeated the current world number 1 Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen in a 4 game match in the finals of the BN Bank Blitz Challenge in Oslo in November 2009. Hikaru is also the unofficial Also ew player. like what what is this? Like what what is what what is what is this? Like what is this? What is this tie? What is this like shirt and jacket? This is ridiculous. I mean this just just ridiculous I, I mean yeah i just I, I refuse to wear a tie ever again like i will never wear a tie ever again in my life unbelievable in november 2009 hikaru is also the unofficial world champion at chess 960 having earned that honor by defeating grandmaster 11 aranyan in the finals of the main's chess classic in july 2009 hikaru is a four-time united states chess champion winning the title in 2005 2009 2012 and 2015 Number five. And 2019. Seven years old when he won his first tournament. He didn't play chess since. Oh, by the way, this is also these pictures are great too, just because because these pictures. Um, first of all, I had no style. You can tell this is a very ugly sweater. This is like gray with red stripes. Very, 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 very ugly. But this this is actually um the reason I bring this up is because this is from when I played in the first Saturday tournament in Budapest, Hungary. Uh, maybe it was first Saturday or the turn I played right before that at the chess club uh, where Mishra just got his uh, final GM norms. And the reason that I know that this is taken from there is not not because of the way that I look, but it's because the pieces, these these pieces are very unique and they always had this chess set um, at the uh, at the at the club in Budapest. And I kind of wonder if they still have if they still have the um, if they still use the same the same chess set there. First tournament. He didn't play chess in school because by that time he was already homeschooled. Number six. Hikaru was 15 when he Oh, look at this picture. These are some really good pictures, by the way. Those of you guys who are watching, you'll recognize this dude, this dude here uh, on the right with uh, with hair. This is uh, Maurice Ashley. This is when we played it, I think, in the 2005 United States Chess Championship, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and Maurice, by the way, he's he's on Twitch too. But this is Maurice back when back when he had uh back when he had hair. No, it's not NMP LOL, you guys. It's not NMP. It's not it's not Nick Pullum. Come on. It's of course it's not him. It's it's an actual like serious guy. It's Maurice Ashley, Grandmaster of Chess. Um, so let's keep going. For the youngest American Grandmaster, Bobby Fischer previously held the record. Nakamura was three months younger. Nakamura's record was subsequently broken by Fabiano Caruana in 2007, followed by Ray Robson in 2009, and further lowered by Samuel Sevian in 2014. <laughs> also, this is a great. I, I love I love this picture. What is what is this? <laughs> this is such a great stare here. I love the stare. Uh, by Savian in this picture. Really good. Really good. It's like, like <laughs> such a good, uh, su such a good, um, such a good stare. I like it. Did you really? Yeah. I mean, it is, it is basically the, did you, did you really make that move? But it's just, it's just a great look. 
Number 7. Nakamura used to play a lot in Washington Square Park when he was younger, but now everyone knows who he is, and no one wants to play against him anymore. You just can't hustle. Yeah, so so also to give you guys an example, this is also a good thing. So there was a recent Botez video. I think she played at Union. I think it was a, it was a, it was at Union. Um, it wasn't at Washington Square Park. Um, or maybe it was Bryant Park. I'm not quite sure where it was. Union Square, Bryant Park, where there's this video that got a lot of views where she was playing as the Hustlers. That is something like, for example that I cannot do. So like if I go and try to play and want play play like I can just play, but everybody knows who I am. So it's not really something that I can uh, do in, in the same kind of way. Number eight, Hikaru never had a job other than being a chess player. He said if he had the opportunity, he would probably be in finance or Wall Street, probably in training as he does have an interest in the markets as well. He usually invests his prize money in stock market. Number 9. Hikaru was a serious <laughs> online poker player, but attracts him to poker is the element of game. Yeah, game by the way, you guys, this I think this is uh this picture is from the from the main event, I think. This is from the main event um in 2011. Uh because I, I can see like also this because this is my I think this is my um what I have here, this is my iPod. This is one of those early, early generation iPods with these ridiculous like basic headphones. Uh but this is right before the start of the main event. I think this was uh, day one, 2011. So um so yeah, so I have uh so, so I have played poker. I should totally return to poker. Yeah, I should go. I should go. I should go play poker. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's keep going. I do. I did have a first generation iPod, but this was this was not a first generation one right here. Trying to make the right decisions as much as possible. But the reason he likes chess much better is that in chess, if you play close to perfect, you aren't going to lose. You control your own destiny. Mm -hmm. in poker, I agree you with don't that. Really yeah. Control anything. You can wow. make the right play all the time, but in any given situation, you can also lose. Aside from chess and poker, Hikaru loves to play tennis. And number 10. Nakamura is well known in the chess community for frequently playing on the internet. He plays primarily on chess.com as Hikaru, the internet chess club formerly as Smallville, nowadays as Capilano Bridge, and on play chess as Star Wars. He served as a commentator and game annotator, most prominently on the Chess Ninja website, operated by chess author Mick Greengard. He has been described as having an uncommon enthusiasm for chess and as being much more approachable than other players of his ability. For instance, just after winning his first US championship in 2005, he played numerous one-minute games with all comers in the lobby of the hotel where the competition had taken place. Nakamura maintains a Twitter account under the username GM Hikaru. He is sometimes nicknamed the H-Bomb because of his explosive style of playing. And as usual, I have a question for you. Do you think Hikaru stands a chance in the upcoming candidates <laughs> <laughs> and for the end of this oh my god this is such a great video this ending here is like the greatest thing ever this is like the greatest ending ever oh my gosh i mean or, or his internet chess ruined his classical prowess. this is like the, this is the greatest thing ever what a, what a way to end the video i know this is old school but that is really really funny that's really really good that, that's a great ending Amazing, amazing. No, this question is just amazing. It's just such a, it's su and such a, such a great, video, great ending. Especially all things considered, that I'm watching this case. video here in 2021. I, I think certainly I made my career from, I mean, at least from maybe five, ten years ago, everyone will remember me from from playing online. I mean, hopefully I'll be able to be remembered for, for you know, classical chess and being stronger at that. But certainly. Um, Playing on the internet and being the best player there for many years, certainly, I think uh, it, it's, it's what most people will remember me for at the moment. And uh, I know there's so many videos out there of, of me playing Blitz, and I'm just, uh, I, do, I do like playing Blitz. It's, it's a lot of fun. That's another thing is uh, certainly when I play on the internet, I try to play against anyone. There, there are many players who perhaps they, they don't spend so much time on the internet playing, therefore a lot of people don't have the same sort of level of interaction with, with their fans that, that I do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a hmm, thumbs up and a comment. And if you're interested when my new video will be released, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button after. Not a Thank bad video. I, I, I like that video. That's that's a, uh, that's a that's a very, very good video. I like it. Um, no, the, the main event I played in 2011, I busted the very end of day two. And it really it really was kind of um, unpleasant. Wait, did it say, wait, is it, wait, did it say Antonio's 5K? Oh my gosh, this is when Antonio had 4337 subs. Wow, this this video is from June 2nd, 2017. Also, um, yeah, I would say as well, you know, big shout out to Antonio. He's done, he's done amazing stuff. Um, amazing stuff with his channel. He also has over a million, million. Um, he's got like 1.14 maybe or somewhere around there uh, subscribers on YouTube. He's, he's really the OG. Um, have I changed my views since then? Not specifically, no. I mean, I, I, I guess there, there's a lot I could say about this video. The first thing that I would say is it's kind of fitting 
that what I said in that said from that interview, which was done when I was in Barcelona in 2013, I believe it was, is fairly accurate. Um, I, I do think like at the end of the day, I'll be remembered for um, uh, he's number one on YouTube right now, but Levy's going to pass him. Um, but what, what, what I would say is that that interview, mostly the stuff about being remembered for things on the Internet, it still holds true. Um, so I think that's very important to keep in mind. What, what I would also say uh, separately is that when people ask about classical chess or whether the Internet ruined classical chess, not really. What I would say is that I think in the last couple of years, I've sort of been the, my interest in classical chess has been waning as the as the rise of technology, sort of the the really advanced theory and people playing to move 20 no matter what is um uh is like uh what was i saying is is that it like it's taken away the creativity of the game so for for, for a while certainly i've um I, I would say that for a while it's been that way it's not necessarily specific that like i don't you know that like i think i've gotten weaker at classical chess but i've definitely lost a lot of interest since like 20 i would say probably 2018 late 2018. <laughs>